Tesla has almost a 6 million unit fleet, about just over 2 million of those are in the US. The rest are in, you know, Europe, China, and, you know, rest of world. And Tesla has, you know, their own inference computer. Again, if you keep reminding people, uh, they're their own inference computer that they designed and they fabbed out uh, with, with Samsung, actually, the Samsung Fab. And it's in, you know, almost 6 million vehicles now here pretty soon uh, collecting data. And, and you said, and then they've got the engineering capability they've been hiring over a number of years. The other thing I would say though, is Tesla is pretty well ahead of uh, a lot of people in this space uh, from an engineering perspective. And again, from a data perspective. So if anybody's gonna reach compute constraint, you know, reach those compute constraints first, I think it's gonna be Tesla as it relates to, to full, self so full self driving and robotics. But I think that's what Elon, is bringing up here is like, hey, we've actually been doing some of this stuff for a while, but the key is to get the accurate physics behind it and, and get all the timing right so it's actually useful in the real world. With somewhat more than 2 million in the US, Tesla has about 6 million vehicles in total. The remainder are spread throughout China, Europe, and other continents. Tesla collaborated with Samsung to design and build their own inference computer. Currently, this computer is gathering data in almost 6 million cars. Over the years, Tesla has hired outstanding people, demonstrating its tremendous engineering talents. From an engineering and data standpoint, they are ahead of many in this field. Tesla is probably going to be the first company to meet computing limits, particularly in the areas of robotics and full self-driving FSD. Tesla has been developing these technologies for some time, as Elon Musk points out, but precise timing and physics are essential for practical use. Deep within this urban jungle, Tesla's quiet revolution is whispering dreams of a smarter, greener future where every trip is an innovative adventure. We'll explore the intricacies behind Tesla's innovative endeavors in this video, ranging from the possible introduction of fully autonomous driving capabilities to calculated maneuvers in global markets such as China. We'll also talk about the intriguing opportunities that licensing deals provide and how they might affect Tesla's future course. But hold on, we need help with this. Your involvement satisfies our curiosity about the always changing Tesla universe. So remember to hit the like button and subscribe to Tesla Stock News if you're as excited as we are to learn about the most recent advancements and participate in the discussion. We are motivated to provide you with more engaging material by your support. So without further ado, let's explore the fascinating world of Tesla by lighting our imaginations. Welcome to Tesla Stock News, where our inquiry is driven by curiosity and our journey is driven by innovation. Now let's get going. The auto industry was rocked this past weekend by the exciting news that Tesla has released three significant updates pertaining to fully autonomous driving. First, Elon Musk made a possibly groundbreaking statement that suggested unsupervised FSD might become available by year's end. The disclosure made on X implies that Tesla is prepared to use excess computing capacity for training purposes other than FSD, which could pave the way for more sophisticated autonomous features. Musk increased the excitement by making hints about a future game that would be similar to OpenAI's Sora and would provide gamers with an immersive experience. Hiring for autopilot software engineers and QA positions is a significant step towards Tesla's entry into the Chinese market and an indicator of the upcoming launch of Tesla SSD in China. Furthermore, with ambitions to expand access to specific external groups, Tesla has started distributing version FSD 12, its highly anticipated neural net-based FSD, to a larger internal audience. An experienced industry expert named Jeff Lutz joins the conversation to analyze the relevance of these revisions and their repercussions. Lutz clarifies the computational obstacles that Tesla's FSD goals must face while highlighting the company's initiatives to get beyond these limitations. Despite continuing industry-wide computational restrictions, Tesla continues to lead autonomous technology thanks to their strong technical capabilities and extensive data resources. Elon Musk has been experimenting with using Tesla's onboard cameras to create videos in the real world. You heard correctly. All you have to do is tell it that it works, such as and it will produce what appears to be real film, replete with realistic physics. 
Our tech expert, Jeff Lutz, emphasizes how crucial it is to understand those principles for practical uses, particularly in the context of autonomous driving. On the road, a millisecond error could be problematic. Let's start by discussing the pro-Tesla feeling that is currently popular. You know who else has this optimism in addition to Jeff? Our pals from Seeking Alpha. Seeking Alpha is the best place to go if you've been closely following Tesla's rise and are trying to find the next big stock market treasure. Seeking Alpha provides everything from stock price targets to updates on Tesla's most recent developments to analyses of Elon Musk's bold decisions. Get the true story and wave goodbye to the cacophony of the mainstream media. To take advantage of a unique discount, click the link in the description. Returning to our primary subject, Elon suggested that Tesla won't be hampered by computational limitations by the end of the year, meaning quicker advancement towards fully autonomous driving. For all Tesla fans, especially those concerned about future slowdowns, it is welcome news. The next major announcement is that Tesla is reaching out to China and Prepa. Looking back, it appears that Tesla's entire self-driving beta will soon be available. Unpacking some of these exciting discoveries is necessary. Thanks to its unique access to Tesla's source code, Tesla Scope has been digging through and unearthing some tasty information. One important hint is that FSD Beta appears to be preparing for its China premiere. Dar posed an intriguing query regarding whether data control laws would cause the FSD Beta experience in China to be different. According to Tesla Scope, Training data is allowed into China, but not out. According to Tesla's proposal, FSD version 12 will be tested and adjusted entirely in China using a basic model. They are planning to roll it out somewhere in the first half of this year, which is rapidly approaching people. Let's now discuss relevance. This is what Jeff has been stressing. FSD is about more than just increasing profit margins. It's about taking over the world and spreading this revolutionary technology to every region. The potential impact with Tesla's vast fleet is enormous, particularly in China. Jeff explains it all, highlighting the necessity of achieving stability in the U.S. before expanding internationally. Here's the real deal, though. Tesla's strategy is outlined by Jeff. First, stabilize in Region 1, North America, then grow internationally. It all comes down to becoming used to the local driving customs, laws, and routes. Furthermore, what do you know? It all makes great sense. Tesla can guarantee compliance while enhancing their FSD capabilities by accumulating data locally. Elon was surprised by some initiative's sluggish progress, but worry not, Tesla is focused on going worldwide. They're not thinking merely in terms of individual cities. They want to dominate the entire nation. Consider China, where there are distinct laws and driving patterns, yet Tesla is prepared to handle it all. Jeff breaks things down, stressing the value of gathering information and adjusting to local circumstances. And you know what really changes the game? Climate. Elon has been discussing it with justification. We've become accustomed to sunny weather, but rain is a different story. But there's still more. Finally, FSD version 12 is available for purchase. The worst part is that it's no longer exclusive to Tesla workers. Nope, they're also offering it to a few non-Tesla people. Why is the rollout taking so long? Jeff has the solution. It all comes down to fixing those annoying regression flaws so that everyone has an easy day. Not to mention the big issue in the room, licensing. Rivals are clamoring to obtain version 12 as it develops popularity. As businesses consider the benefits and drawbacks of boarding the Tesla bandwagon, this will be a serious discussion. Let's examine it from the standpoint of the car and the price. Businesses considering licensing Tesla's technology take a wide range of aspects into account, including cost, performance, scalability, and more. And believe me, it's difficult to see Tesla failing to achieve perfection in each and every one of those parameters. When it comes to self-driving technology, Price is a crucial component that frequently dictates whether or not it can be widely adopted. The high cost of many current setups prevents mass deployment due to financial constraints. Nevertheless, Tesla's clever in-house inference computer is changing the game. Tesla lowers costs dramatically by avoiding the requirement for outside suppliers, 
making their solution both more affordable and technologically advanced. That's not all, though. Tesla is unique in that it can customize licensing conditions to meet the various needs of its partners with unmatched flexibility. Building mutually advantageous connections is the cornerstone of Tesla's strategy, which includes modifying price structures, optimizing service agreements, and creating personalized support packages. Its flexibility guarantees partners not just access to state-of-the-art technology, but also a smooth integration process that optimizes value for all parties. With its affordable solutions and adaptable licensing policies, Tesla creates a situation where everyone wins. Tesla is paving the road for a future where cutting-edge technologies are not just within reach, but within grasp, enabling businesses and consumers to fully embrace the possibilities of self-driving technology. Tesla has prioritized affordability without sacrificing quality. The worst part is that it all depends on how well version 12 does. We cannot afford another setback similar to the previous one. Version 12 will open up a plethora of licensing opportunities once it establishes its value. And when it comes to capability and cost effectiveness, I promise you that Tesla is unmatched. So, what is the conclusion? Version 12 appears to hold great potential. It will not be long before there is widespread adoption as smaller test groups work out the bugs. I can assure you that specialists are adjusting their expectations. Folks, the hype is real. With Tesla's advanced neural net in charge, things appear more promising than they have in a long time. Tesla is moving forward. In a few months, the FSD will be available to the general public. They also have plans to expand into China and other countries. The true game changer is that there are no longer any computation restrictions. By year's end, Elon promises they'll have all the juice they require. What a relief. Let's talk technology now. Tesla is killing it with their EVs thanks to a super-efficient under 100-watt microprocessor. It's revolutionary. Other businesses are still baffled by the problem of how to control their electricity consumption. But there's still more. The licensing process has been somewhat unpredictable, with Elon criticizing the concept harshly. However, as FSD continues to show its value, things may be changing. And believe me when I say that businesses will be coming up for a piece of the action as soon as they see what Tesla is bringing. That's it, then. We've taken a tour through the most recent developments in Tesla's complete self-driving technology in this video. We've spoken about how it might be released soon, how it might strategically enter new areas like China, and how complicated licensing deals might get in the future. When you consider these changes, how do you see Tesla's future unfolding? Are you excited about the possibility of seeing FSD in action before you think? What is your opinion of Tesla's strategy for entering new markets throughout the world, especially China? What about licensing collaborations in the future? Do you think Tesla's cutting-edge technology will transform the market? Post your thoughts in the space provided for comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked today's article and want us to keep giving you the most recent Tesla news. This should take care of all the structural and grammatical problems.